Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, one of the most useful things, in my opinion, for uh, Bible believers, uh, the 18-point print, Holman Supergiant Print Dictionary and Concordance especially designed by American Printing House to enhance reading speed, comprehension, comfort for large print users. It has 5,500 dictionary in, uh, entries and 40,000 scripture references. Now, it's a pretty good size book. It's big. Um, Lifeway was running these on sale. They're normally $24.99. They had them on sale for $12.99. And then I think I probably had a $10 off 40 coupon and maybe had some, I don't know what I had, but I was able to get it pretty inexpensive again it is for the king james version of the bible holman as you know uh nation's oldest bible publisher 1743 even though the uh first bible print in america wasn't printed till what the 1780s or something like that with a congressional the, the british cut off the supply of bible so the continental congress had to say we're setting aside money to to print Bibles, a little known fact of history. Thomas Nelson started in 1798. But uh, Holman is the Southern Baptist Publishing House. So you always know that when you get it. But 18 point print. So this goes right along with like the American Bible Society, I think Cambridge. There's, there's several places that have 18 point prints out there. And some even have a 24 point print, like in a New Testament. And in a multi-volume set, a 24-point print is probably the biggest I have ever personally seen. So Holman, much like Nelson, has been developing print as well that is easier to read. So, I mean, like, this is cool. Uh, AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. So it's a topical index as well. Uh... And so it's got all kinds of tech uh, about AIDS. So that's kind of neat. And let's see if it's got abortion in here. I'm going to assume it does. Abortion. Adama accent. Abortion. Yeah. Self-induced miscarriage prohibited by implication of God's concern for the unborn from personhood of the unborn. Then it's got several scripture references. Exodus 21, 22. I'll let you see them here and uh, just get a little feel for that. Let's see what it says about baptism. Holman has been, you know, moving towards a lot of what I consider biblical positions on baptism, on holiness, on different things such as that. But man, this is just a good deal right here. Let's look up, it's got biblical hermeneutics. Let's look up baptism. Let's see what it says. Baptism from the Greek, baptizo, which means immerse. By the way, baptism, King James Version did not just transliterate that word. It came over with the Norman invasion in 1066. Look up your Oxford English Dictionary. Don't spread any more false things. Um, so... Persons professing Christ were immersed in water as a public confession or saving faith as Jesus as Savior. Acts 241, 8, 12, 38, 9, 18, 10, 48. Okay. Baptism of fire, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Huh. Baptism for the dead. How about that? And even baptism of the Hebrew people into Moses and the sea. So. You know, let's get in there. Let's see what it says about modesty. Let's see if it's got modesty in here. Since, you know, it's kind of like uh, Knaves Topical it has some things. No, they equate modesty with legalism, I'm afraid. Um, let's see what it says about clothing. Let's just go there. Let's see if it says anything. Wow, first letter. So it's actually kind of like a Bible handbook, too. I saw 1 Corinthians. Let's see if it has anything about clothing. Um, okay, so men and women wore tunics made of linen or wool hanging from the neck to the knees or ankles. So that's modesty. Uh, men wore underwear of linen and a belt or girdle of linen and leather. 
the belt could be used to tuck in the mantle for intense activity or travel. Okay, and so that's where pants came from. Women's clothes were somehow distinct since wearing of clothes of the opposite sex was forbidden. So it goes a little bit into distinction and to modesty without using those legalistic terms, which is, you know, the term legalism is used like zero times in the Bible. Legalist is zero times in the Bible. Um, Phariseeism is in there though, but not Phariseeism, Pharisees. But uh, I always find that amazing. So I, this is just great. Let's face this. Um, if you need large print, they got it for you. Just pioneering. It's about, uh, oh man, it's got Urim and Thurim. You know, it's close to 1,300 pages here. And it even has their great Holman maps. 1,278 pages before the maps. Just look at these maps. Paul's journey. I just love it. So, I'm not sure where you can get the best price on this. Amazon, CBD, Lifeway, running them 50% off every so often. Coupons from Lifeway. Because Lifeway, they'll do some things. You know, they'll just send you $5 off coupons and stuff. You're on their mailing list. And if you're on church staff, like the Mallory's doing this here today, they automatically get 15% off at Lifeway. I'm not even sure if they know that and if I've communicated that accurately to them. So, God bless. Super giant print dictionary and concordance of the Holy Bible. Keyed to the King James Version. Also has a topical index, even though that's not... Uh, advertised. It, it has more than just a specific concordance topical index. Great. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.